like a butcher's shop. That was the description by a police officer of the way Italian police beat innocent protesters at the G8 summit in Genoa in 2001. A British man has been leading the fight for justice and today 29 police, police officers are on trial for the alleged brutality. It's been a week of high drama, the latest development, the sacking by the Prime Minister, no less, of Italy's senior police officer. Scalps don't come much bigger than Gianni De Gennaro. Six months ago, he received the FBI's International Medal for Meritorious Achievement. Today, he's been sacked by the Prime Minister himself. The reason? He forced fellow police officers to lie in court. The court case was into the police handling of this event. In 2001, Italy hosted the G8 summit. It became infamous after police falsely arrested some 93 protesters and beat them over five days. One of the leading witnesses was a British man, Mark Covell. In footage broadcast for the first time by Morpho News last year, Mark can just be seen being beaten to within an inch of his life. Here's his testimony from close to the time. And then about 10 carabinieri policemen then started, proceeded to hit me and thought for about five minutes, kicking me, punching me, hitting, hitting me with their batons, their shields. It was just no mercy. It, it, it was just endless. Um, I really thought I was dying. But from his modest flat in West London, Mark Covell has been leading the campaign for justice. He was branded a terrorist by the British media. Unable to get a job, he set about taking on the entire Italian police service. He's become the key figure in three cases of Italian police brutality. It's just that I don't want this to happen again. I mean, there's going, going to be another G8 in, in Italy in, in two years from now, and I don't want to see, you know, protesters and journalists um, being, you know, beaten and smashed up again by the same police that were at Diaz. 29 of Italy's highest-ranking police officers are currently on trial. Last week, one of them said the scenes in 2001 were like a Mexican butcher's shop. Then, crucial phone tap evidence emerged. A local police chief caught saying he'd lied in court under pressure from the national chief, Gennaro. One of the police defendants said that they were helped with their witness statement by uh, Di Gennaro. And just a week later, he's being sacked. And it's an amazing development. The main trial ends next year. Then there's a high chance of a parliamentary investigation into the role of some serving politicians. But 2009 is Italy's turn to host the G8 summit again. For that country's political establishment, the timing could not be more embarrassing.